So you've probably heard at this point, Alpha 2 key sales are about to return this Wednesday, giving players a new opportunity to get into Alpha 2. There are different phases of the keys for the different phases of the Alpha 2 testing, starting at $120 down to $100. And as expected, there is a ton of talk around this, good and bad. People are upset over the cost. They're upset because it was stated on a stream that these keys are for Alpha 2 only and not the betas. And people are upset just because they feel the need to rage about Ashes of Creation because that's what the MMORPG community likes to do. But late yesterday evening, Stephen Sharif headed to Reddit of all places to drop some clarification on this along with a massive change. In his post he writes, Good afternoon friends, there has been a lot of questions and commentary regarding how the Alpha 2 keys will work since our AMA yesterday. We are preparing an article to release on the website tomorrow or Monday regarding how the keys and phases work in broader detail, but I will take a moment in this thread to clarify in detail how the Alpha 2 keys will work and answer some of the questions in this thread. If you own an Alpha 2 key from the previous pre-order packages or Kickstarter, you have access to all phases of Alpha 2. Alpha 2 will begin for you the weekend of October 25th. New Phase 1 keys will consist of weekend testing starting the weekend testing beginning November 8th. Phase 2 keys will consist of week-long testing 5 days at a time beginning December 20th. New Phase 3 keys will consist of 24-7 testing and is intended to run until the game launches starting on May 1st. Purchasing into a phase grants access to the subsequent phases as well. When beta starts, the Alpha 2 servers will be live concurrently alongside the beta servers. Players who own Alpha 2 keys, including the new phase, will also have access to the beta server. Alpha 2 Phase 3 is expected to last at least one year, meaning one year from May 2025, so May 2026 at the earliest is when Alpha 2 Phase 3 would end, and this is of course subject to change due to active development. Alpha 2 does not have a subscription cost, and when the game launches, Ashes will not have a box price. The cost behind Alpha Access amounts for server and CDN costs associated with live service products. And while this is not a finished game, it will be a live service alpha that will need updating on a six week basis as we build out the rest of the game's content and features. This addresses most of the commentary I have read that re require clarification. I want to reiterate you should not consider purchasing testing access to Ashes if your intent is to play a completed game. This is not a typical approach of development and marketing. It will be rough, buggy, and require dedicated players who are willing to be testers. We have our internal QA teams along with externally contracted QA testers that are testing Ashes right now every day. And I understand that this approach is not everyone's cup of tea, but this is the path that we are taking because I believe it will yield a better finished project. So as just stated, the big thing here, if you purchase into Alpha 2, keys for any wave you will have access to the betas. Steven did follow up on this in a comment and state that this was brought up because it was due to a confusion on the topic and while people who have been granted a key through a giveaway to Alpha 2 will not be granted access to subsequent Alpha and Beta testing phases, anyone who purchased or owns an Alpha 2 key will have access to the betas as well. He also in the comments talks about again how the price directly speaks to the dedication of a user to help ensure a higher quality of testing and it is also fair to say that users cost money to host on a server and download the game. Given the length of Alpha 2 being at least 12 months, we are accounting for those costs with this price. He goes on to say in a different comment that people often forget that the primary funding for this game comes from Steven, and neither the company or himself have ever made a profit. It is a passion project, not a project of greed. And speaking of server costs, well, this guy on the MMORPG Reddit, coincidentally the other day, broke down the generic cost of running and operating a server for an MMORPG, and and the TLDR of this is that a server that an average per concurrent connection per month is about 46 cents in US dollars. So every person who logs into Ashes of Creation is going to cost Intrepid 46 cents. Obviously this price isn't going to be an exact representation of Intrepid because they are messing with server tech and doing the dynamic gridding and having more servers online than your average MMO so that cost could be higher than this. And it's something that needs to be paid for to get Alpha 2 done and keep those servers running when ultimately Intrepid isn't bringing in any money any other way right now. They are spending millions of dollars per year paying for salaries, they are paying for a studio, they're paying for benefits for their employees and all of that other stuff that comes with running a company. And if you think a company has over 200 associates and probably an average salary of 75k 
4k year if not higher well then they're paying 15 to 20 million at least in yearly salaries so intrepid still needs to bring in money to keep this game going or they run Stevens Wallace dry or their investors dry or however else they intend to bring in money to fund ashes. Despite all the complaints going on around this, I am glad that Steven jumped in to try and give a better understanding of why Intrepid is doing these key sales along with clarifying the beta changes, whether this was a mistake they made or a change in decision. But regardless, it is the right thing to do to award players buying in to at least also have access to those beta tests, especially when the Alpha 2 servers will be running at the same time as the beta servers as a testing realm.